So there's constantly a lot of new information and data coming out about multiple myeloma and new therapies. Uh, I would say at this ASH 23 meeting, I think the biggest highlight is further confirmation of the utility of using CD38 antibodies in patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma. We have a plenary uh, abstract for the use of esituximab in combination with carfilzomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone uh, that I'm anxiously awaiting hearing the data of uh, later today, uh, as well as a late-breaking abstract talking about the use of daratumumab in combination with bortezomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone. And both of these are uh, studies that uh, appear to show superiority of a four-drug regimen over a three-drug regimen. Uh, and we're certainly looking forward to seeing the finalized data presented and uh, extending the implementation of these highly effective therapies for patients with newly diagnosed multiple myeloma. I think what we're also gonna, what we're also seeing here is just further data being presented about uh, bispecific antibodies, CAR T cell therapies, and other novel combinations in the relapsed and refractory setting, as well as some uh, really interesting insights coming out in terms of the myeloma precursor setting uh, of MGUS uh, from the ISTOP MM trial and some other uh, research. So. Really excited to learn more about how to use all of these exciting new tools that we've got for patients with multiple myeloma across the disease spectrum. So what this news means for myeloma patients is that outcomes are getting better. What it means is that we now know how best to use some of these tools that we've been developing for uh, you know, over a decade now in terms of maximizing responses, maximizing the number of patients who achieve remission, and not just achieve remission, but have a lasting remission in that uh, first line setting. Uh, and this is really gonna lead to improved survival as well as improved quality of life uh, when we start seeing year upon year of, of really really high quality survival for most of our patients with multiple myeloma. We're also learning how best to use some of the even newer therapies, T-cell directing therapies such as CAR T-cells and bispecific antibodies. We are incredibly excited about uh, how effective these drugs are for patients with multiple myeloma. And these are things that you know, we're already using in the clinic and you know, it's important for patients to be aware so that uh, when it becomes time to use these strategies that we can make sure that all patients have access to them. Mm -hmm.